Okay, well I'm here today speaking outside Downing Street on the 28th of September um, after the amazing historic rally we had in Trafalgar Square on the 26th. There, plus in Hyde Park, there were probably 60,000 people demonstrating peacefully. Now, this could be the last major peaceful demonstration in London unless we stop the impositions of the new law. The, the rally itself was going extremely well. We would had our risk assessment agreed by Westminster Council and the police. It was all peaceful. We even had a minute silence for the former policeman of the police. Department. And the territorial support group police trashed into the demonstration 10 minutes before it was due to it. That was unjustifiable mm. in any terms whatsoever. They claimed that we were not implementing the, uh, what we'd agreed in our risk assessment. Uh, but we were doing everything to the best of our ability and keeping the police informed. They wanted an excuse to break up that rally to try and give an example to other people and other rallies. And they want to label us as something bad using the contagion and fear ideology to justify strong state measures against any protest of any sort. It's all to build a new normal, a new fascistic strong state. That is their purpose and they're using us as the excuse. And we know when they came, they had a red envelope with them with people who to arrest. They might have wanted to arrest me, very likely. They did arrest a Dr. Haiku. They arrested him later in um, Hyde Park, where he spoke. I spoke in Hyde Park as well as in, in the Golden Square, as people know, and marched to Hyde Park very successfully. Dr. Haiku's arrest was an utter disgrace. He was an international visitor coming to speak and he was held for 21 hours in one of police station. He wasn't charged, he was taken or he was let go with a, um, a statement that uh, his, his situation would be. We don't know what they're intending to do, but we're saying they should do nothing against Dr. Pike. So, the big question now is what is to be done? Now, in the speech, I said in Trafalgar Square that for any hit powers that be imposed upon us, our movement that is, we will hit back twice. So I've got two things to say. One is, we say we want no more of the TSG attacks on peaceful demonstrations. No more of them whatsoever. And to make sure that happens, we should be disbanded. So that's our first response. We demand the government disband the TSG. Our second response is, uh, we should, uh, well, it's already happening, but we specifically say that the 10 p.m. curfews must be broken. People should break the 10 p.m. curfews, buy drink from pubs, and stand outside the pubs after 10 p.m. drinking and drink until Ooh. midnight. The rest is in the thousands. Carry on till midnight. Liverpool is leading the way on this, but it's already happening in London as well. We have to do this en masse every day, 10 to midnight, people's street rallies against the COVID con. And around the country, we're saying other things. We've got to set up our movement action groups in every town and city. These action groups will, one, have a campaign of vaccination to say to people why we have to stop them. And then in the COVID story is a hoax. There to justify strong state moves and a new normal and a new uh, technocracy which is going to be evil, 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 and it's the end of democracy as we know it, and the end of science as we know it, because they, democracy makes science, proper science, possible. Um, and our general slogans around those is, we do not consent, and we uh, support all those who are threatened by the COVID or being injured by the COVID measures, including sackings, people having to uh, work for lower wages, so we campaign on all those issues. And the second thing these groups have to do is build alternative 
There's a lot going on now, and here we have alternative media in front of us, which is fantastic. But we've got to do more of that. Local alternative media, we've got a brilliant one here, or national alternative media. This is the light, um, quite a new thing, um, which is extremely successful. Uh, and on Parliament, these next few days, we're obviously campaigning to make MPs listen. There are, interestingly, a few MPs these are now, some of them, waking up. Uh, now, it's a complete disgrace, an utter complete disgrace to the Labour Party that it's Tory MPs who are waking up standing for people's rights. Mm. Labour, maybe will support, maybe not, we don't know. But, you know, ten years ago Labour, or five years ago, or one of my brother, Labour would be in the forefront of defending civil liberties. Now we have some Tories defending civil liberties. Great, I welcome them. And those MPs who vote against or don't vote with us, i.e. vote to keep the COVID con, I say we campaign to expel them from Parliament, whatever their party. I mm. do not care what party they're in. Mm. If they're betraying the people, they must go. Expel yes. them from the party. That's right. Mm. Yeah. And I would just say to end to the uh, people listening out there and here that we press on everywhere with our slogan, one hit, two hits back. Anything Boris does to us, we'll do something back double. Mm.